Hey guys, Mike the Gaming Dad here and welcome back to the channel. So, episode 2 of the Survival Mode Let's Play, and I'm really looking forward to doing this. Sorry it's been quite a while since episode 1, the um, build guide that I was working on, the Dark Spell Sword, took me quite a bit of time, a lot longer than I expected it to. Um, I think it was about 20 hours in total I put into it, because I decided that I was going to try and do it sort of exploit free, and a little bit different to my normal one, so yeah, um, a lot longer than I expected it to be, so finally getting around to doing episode two so yeah apologies for that um just before we start there was someone in the comments that requested uh, putting on the uh subtitles for dialogue um just because obviously i turned the volume down a little bit just so you can hear me um over that so we'll just quickly put those on and then we'll get started so i think uh we ended the last episode in white run and I'd just started to show you a couple of the extra little things you can do around White Rum, um, obviously just to accompany the the main quest. Um, and I think there was a few things that we didn't quite get to do, so I'll just quickly do those, um, and then we'll obviously crack on with the main quest line. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, so we've just woken up after a sleep. I think it's the morning, isn't it? Yeah, six six eighteen a.m. and um, one of the things that we were doing was helping Carlotta um, with this uh, bad dude, Mikhail. Um, so we'll just get started on that. Um, so yeah, you basically ask ask him. And you basically just need to tell him to leave Carlotta alone. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry. But that fiery widow is mine. The fiery she widow. Doesn't know it yet. So you can either there's obviously different options you can do. So we'll try and persuade him first. Let's not resort to violence straight away, even though we are a nod. What did you just say? All I oh, it looks like he's not in a um, in the mood to be uh, spoken down. So let's brawl. I don't have to take that from you. Starting the episode two Never with a fight. Oop, let him get a first punch in there. And then you basically just have to, you just hammer each other until one of you passes out. So we'll uh it's interesting though doing it in uh, survival mode because your health doesn't actually regenerate. So uh, hopefully we don't uh, get knocked out because that would be embarrassing. And it looks like we're giving him a bit of a kick in here. There we go. Mikhail is done for. Get him! You know how to throw a punch, I'll give you that. You leave Carlotta alone, or this gets worse. You win. On my honor, Carlotta won't have to worry about me ever again. I love that Nordic life. It's basically punch each other silly and then yeah, I'll leave her alone. So there's a couple of reasons why we do that. Um, you do get quite a bit of money from her and you also get to just basically raid all her um, vegetables. It doesn't look like she's here yet though. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Oh, the courier's here. I wonder what he's got for us. Let's have a look. I bet it's the one about the uh, zombies. Yeah, the rising dead. I think I've only ever done this quest once. I, I didn't really like it, to be honest. It felt a little bit unfinished for me, like it had been rushed, but... Yeah, you basically got to go to this site where there's, like, bodies been basically coming back to life, and it's 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 kind of going down that kind of route, and it could have been amazing, but I don't think it's the best of the um, Creation Club mods, if I'm honest. And so we're not going to bother with that. Um, yeah, Carlotta doesn't like she's here, so hopefully after the dragon attack, um, she will be. One of the other things we were going to do was um, chop some wood, and this is useful for a few things really, in um, survival mode, um, or just in general. The first is you can sell them to inns, I should have done this before really, but I forgot. And you basically get a free bed for life by doing it. And the it's especially good for um, doing it in White Run because it means as well that you can raid all the goods. 
like all like the vegetables and things from the from the pantry. Um, so we'll do that because obviously we're, we're going to be doing a lot of um, making rest, making food and things. Well met, Okay, so then you basically come in and just sell that. Well enough, but I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the inn to Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? I have firewood to sell. Honest gold for honest work. And then basically now we've else, done that. Just let me know. Uh, I covered this in my tips video that I did recently, but I think it's this bed up here that you get. Yeah, now it's no longer owned. You can just sleep in this bed whenever you want now. You don't have to pay. Um, and the other useful thing is... Oh, you are hungry. If it's work you're um, you can basically raid oh, all of this and just take it, which you couldn't do that before. So we'll, uh, we won't do that just now. We'll do that later after we've done the dragon attack before we set off. Let's just see if we've got any food to eat. We don't have a lot actually, but what we could do is we could cook one of the um, fishes that we've caught with the, with some salt and then just eat that. If you need more food or drink, speak to Holda. So we'll, yeah, we'll do that. Let's see what we've got. Cooked yes, carp, that'll do. Fish for breakfast, why not? You want a drink? Did she just say? Are you asking me out? Uh, not today. Sorry, love. I've got things to do. Alright, let's just eat our fish. You feel better and are now satisfied. Uh, we also need to heal after uh, our fight with Mikhail. So yeah, so that's basically the firewood. The second thing we were going to do... Third thing, sorry. Was Sometimes this guy that we couldn't find earlier, Amran. When I hold my daughter in my arms, I know I made the right choice. So if you ask him what were you two arguing about? My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Do you need help finding the sword? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the White Run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. And then he just gives you like a random quest just to find it. The location's always different, by the way, but it's worthwhile doing it. Find that sword. Please bring it to me. And then the fourth and final thing that we were going to do in White Run was. Uh, I can't remember if it's here, but basically, build. I think it's under building materials. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe it's miscellaneous. Ah, this is it. Uh, camping supply. So we'll do this after we've done the dragon attack. Um, just when we're gathering all our stuff before we we climb up Mount Mount um, High Hro High Hrothgar. Sorry. Yeah, basically in survival mode always carry one of these camping supplies with you whenever you're in the cold um, areas or you need to just camp somewhere it's just pretty much essential that you have this so yeah we'll 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 sort that when we get um after the dragon attack you're someone who can get things um, and then what i'll also do as well when we get back is just upgrade some of our pieces um using leather and Leather and things, just for a little bit there. extra. We're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. Ah, someone gave me a tip actually a few weeks back about these um, warriors. If you back away from the conversation, basically they're the the looking for Sadia in um in the Bannered Mare. Um, and the quest sort of evolves from going speaking to her after you spoke to them if you back away from the conversation now and just leave it they'll always say stay around white run and then they almost act as like bodyguards um obviously every now and again towns will be attacked by like bandits um, and it's really annoying if they kill one of your one of the npcs like that you need like the blacksmith or something so yeah, that was just a little tip that someone shared with me, so I'm going to do that. I'm just going to leave them there. 
So right, what we're going to do now is let's go and fight Can our first dragon. Room. And then we'll do the other housekeeping bits when we get back. Let's just see what we've got equipped actually. Is it the hunt? Ah oh, yeah, the hunting bow and the steel. War axe. Probably use the hunting bow for this. Only because we're not gonna really get that up, get up close. In fact, before we start, I need to remember to do this. We're in survival mode, my health isn't gonna regenerate. Let's just um heal first. go. Right, back to the bow. What is this deer doing? Get out of my way. Right, here we are. All our buddies. I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still... Skyrim's first ever boy band. Spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what was dealing with. Still here somewhere. Corky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. If we're quick, we might see him flying down. Normally, you see him come over the mountain. Yeah, there he is. Oh, wrong button. Not going to bash him from here. Alright, let's get down. Where is he? I am going to stay back for this fight. I'm, we're definitely not strong enough to go toe to toe with the dragon just yet. There we go. Probably going to land on my head, isn't it? Oh, he's over there. Me is it me and Mulnir? I wish they'd named more of the dragons. I think there's only a few that are actually named, aren't they? They're normally just like dragon, blood dragon, ancient dragon, and so on, elder dragon. It'd be cool if more of them had sort of like backstories. I've always found the like, sort of the way they sort of fly around is always bit weird. Like they'll just like fly into buildings and then they'll sort of like do like a 180. Oh, I don't know what happened there. He's landed. Hopefully we can uh, get some killing blows in now. Gone for it. Oh. Health as well. Let's quickly drink a potion. And we don't have anything. Oh, brilliant. I'm probably going to die now. Wow, that was lucky. Very lucky. Uh, what's he got? Steel arrows. We are never going to be able to carry this. We'll just grab the arrows. We don't really need anything else. I don't think we've got anywhere we can store that yet. Could give it to one. Of, I could give it to one of the followers actually. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, I thought when I was approaching the dragon, then I thought oh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll take him down now. And then the guard got eaten, and then it was just he just came for me. <laughs> and I was like, "Come on!" Every arrow, I was like, "This is going to be the one that's going to take him down." And it didn't happen. And then we nearly died.
Who can we shout at? What's happening? Not normally they all sort of come round and talk to you, but it doesn't appear that. Did everyone die? Is it literally just? I think everyone's dead. Oh well. Where's Feindel? Why's everyone just stood there? He really is just not moving. Oh well. Yeah, normally the uh, the, the uh, guards like crowd around and start commenting on you being dragonborn and things, but I'm not really sure where feindel has gone. Maybe Feindel got eaten as well. So yeah, we'll go uh, head up back to Dragon's Reach now, and um, this is where we get Lydia. was the uh, Greybeards summoning you to High Hrothgar. I don't think I did very well at the uh, that dragon attack, that was actually quite embarrassing. Needing to uh, get out the double uh, restoration spell just to survive. I probably should have um, done up my armor and stuff, uh, upgraded my armor before the fight. That would have definitely been better than doing it after. Wait, I know you. I'm gonna go into first person for a bit, actually, because. For some reason the camera's like super close. I don't know if it's because I'm wearing a backpack, it like changes the view. But you're definitely not normally that close to the camera. It's quite um, intrusive. So I'll play that this for a little bit because I think you see it better. Oh, there you are. Where were you? Like, I could have done with you before. Good. You're finally here. The Yarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just so talking what about happened you. at the Watchtower. Need your was the dragon there? The Watchtower was destroyed, but we killed I the dragon. I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Turns out I may be something called Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? When the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. The Greybeards? Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion, high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the Voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thum or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the This guy, Hronga, I think he is he the Jarl's brother. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. I think he's the Jarl's brother. Not since Tibeseptim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rungar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this... What? Well, but he just don't care, does he prevent us? Nord, Nord nonsense. nonsense. Why, you like, do you not realize where ignorant. you are? These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Rungar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that... What do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeard's business. Just jealous, not mate, aren't you? Because you're not the Dragonborn. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. 
If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. <sighs> no matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can I wonder why it's not, um... I wonder why I wasn't doing the subtitles then. That's weird. By my right is Jarl. I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl. Lydia. From my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. What um, followers do you use? I generally, to be honest, most of the time stick with just stick with Lydia. Occasionally, I've taken one of them, like the the cell swords. There's a few that are quite good actually. There's the one in um, Riften. Is it Mercurio? I think he's quite good. And then the one that's in, I can't remember his name now. Uh, I think he's in the Wretched Netch. Uh, he sort of, I think he's a, a spell sword. The Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Follow me, I need your Looks help. Like you've already got someone with you. Oh yeah, we do, Feindel. Uh Feindel, sorry mate. I'm right behind you. It's time for us to part ways. I'll head back home if you need me. Mm, probably won't need you again, but thank you. Lydia. What do you need, my Thane? Lead the way. Right, what I need you to do first. I'm right behind you. Task one, Lydia. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Yep, you are. Carry these dragon bones for us, please. Carry all my stuff. Let's get going then. Right, now that's done. A little bit of housekeeping before we set off to High Hrothgar. Divine smile on you, friend. So, hopefully Carlotta is at her stall. So we can get paid handsomely for beating a bard up. Yep, there she is, and we can take a load, uh, a load of veg. Well, funny you speak about that bard, because Mikhail won't be bothering you anymore. Really? You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? Uh, convinced, God. more like beat him to a pulp. Here's some coin for your help. 250 gold, not bad. So now we've done that, all of this we can now just take, which is very kind of her, because she's now going to have nothing to sell. Come out, potato. God, this, I cannot pick this potato up, there we go. Cabbage. Give me your cabbages. Look at the size of these tomatoes. Sorry, Isolde, we are literally going to just take all of this. Uh, yeah, there's now nothing there, sorry. So, what else we're going to do is we're going to go in... Uh, is the beggar around, actually? Uh, no, he's not. It don't matter. What I was going to do was I was going to steal the Argonian ale for the um, Come on in. for the Everything beggar, but I couldn't see him. So now we can also take all of this. For, so this we'll take these talk. tomatoes as well. And is there anything else that we want? If you need Cabbages. More food, I'm basically just going to be making them. loads of soup. Potatoes. Security in white uh, we'll have this sweet roll as well because sweet rolls 
In fact, there's two here, isn't there? Always room for a sweet roll. Uh, I think that'll do. Well, actually, leaks. And let's see Mind how much soup. Your bills, and you'll always be welcome. Right, so what we want to be making is vegetable soup. How many can we, can we make? Six. I'll do. Yeah, basically this is, most people know about this recipe, but like, this is just the best re food recipe in the game. Especially, and like even more on survival mode because your health doesn't regenerate. You get one point of health per second for 12 minutes and one point of stamina per second for 12 minutes plus it restores 380 points of hunger so you kind of just negate that effects that you have in um, survival mode plus it obviously warms you up as well eating soup so I'm also going to make some salmon because I think we're hungry aren't we yeah uh, no, I don't want to drink. Stop asking me. No more questions. Plain hard to get. <laughs> right, let's just eat again. Um, salmon, steak. We'll eat both of them. You are now well fed. So, the other thing we need to do is build a camp fire before we set off. So, we need some fire, uh, wood to do that. What was that? You've got some wood stuck to you. To your hands. This is weird. Look at that. Uh, do you mind if I use your chopping block, please? Thank you. Uh, you might want to get out of the way. Yes, yeah, so we'll build a campfire. We'll upgrade our gear and then we'll set off. I'm sure we've got something. I can't remember how many firewood we need. Was it five? Was it three? We'll get some more just in case. Because I can always just make Lydia carry it. I'll do. Don't mean to be rude, but I'm too busy to talk. And then do we piece. have any leather? I don't think we do. But we have got a bear pelt Here, and some wolf five. pelts. So, sorry. I'm basically just making everyone get off their equipment. It's like being at a gym. Yeah, let's turn all these pelts into leather. That'll do. And then what we want to do is make a... <laughs> I've just kicked her off this as well. She's going to hate me. Uh, camping supplies. Oh, it's three firewood, so we could build a couple of these actually, which we'll do. Too shabby. Apprentice level work, but solid. Keep and then, do I have anything that improves my smithing just before I do this? For some reason, I thought I got something that did. Uh, no. No. Right, so, what we'll do is we'll just upgrade. Um, our armor just for a few extra points we'll do we'll do everything actually right um have we got anything to sell I don't claim to be the best blacksmith and looking to protect yourself or deal some damage let's just have a look I feel like we're carrying quite a lot our axe of white run don't really need that fishing rod, hunting bow. Um, is it? Why is it giving me an iron axe and not a steel one? What a cheapskate! We'll definitely sell that. Don't even want to be Thane. We'll keep everything else for now. We'll keep all that. We don't need the steel, the imperial armor anymore. Actually, because we're wearing the scout armor, so we'll sell that as well. Oh, wrong Looking button. To protect yourself or deal some damage. And then, yeah, that'll do. 
Right, on to the next quest. So basically where we're going to be going now is um, we're going, I think it's all, yeah, all the way up to High Hrothgar. Let's just make sure it's actually, yeah, speak to the Greybeards. Um, so what it'll do is it'll take us to the base um, of the 10,000 steps first, which is in Iverstead. So there's, there's two ways you can really do this from here. You can either go sort of across past uh, Valheim Towers and then down, but you'll have to kind of scale. There's, it's quite a steep hill, this. Um, or you can go back the way you came, Riverwood, um, Helgen, and then through this sort of pass, which I think is where we'll go. So if I just look at the quests I've got, um, the reason why I was mentioning do a few things in White uh, White Run first is because you can kind of do some of them on the way. So if I just look at what we've got, ah, Frost Salts to Arcadia as well. I've not done that, but I'll do that when I get back. Um, just with the potion she gives you. So I can either go. I think Amran's sword is in Valheim Keep. Is that where is that? I thought that was that one, Valheim Towers, but uh, has it not shown up? I don't think it's shown up. I thought it was that it would be that one, but we'll the way we'll go anyway was we'll go this way because we might try and get Nettlebane on the way, although the Hargravens could give us a bit of a rough time. But we'll try it. We may die, but oh well. Um, and Amran will have to wait for his sword. Yeah, so we'll go the um, we'll go the White Run, the uh, not White Run, the Riverwood Way, back the way we came. And we should be well stocked. to look at Feindel, walking back on his own. Sorry, buddy. Uh, you are drained. Drained already? Is that tired? I just slept not that long ago. Uh, active effects. Fatigue. Total magic is reduced. I'm surprised that we're drained already. I mean, it's only three in the afternoon. Yes, yeah, so we're basically heading all the way up there now. Like you can literally see the top of it. Uh, can we scale these, this hill? I think we can. I'll just shave a little bit of time off. Go as the crow flies. don't think I've I've only played survival mode once before and I think I just went off and did sort of random quests and things I don't think I even got to the point where you go up to the greybeards so this is going to be a new thing for me obviously we picked the Nord because of the plus 25 warmth that they get but um, we got cold when we were up at um, the Bleak Falls Barrow, didn't we, in the last episode? So it's going to be interesting to see how we survive, sort of, up on the top of that mountain. Um, it's one of the reasons why I wanted to get the suit beforehand, and I think we've got a torch as well, which will help. Yeah, we do. We've got a torch, and obviously the campfires, uh, campsites, in case we need to sort of set up. So yeah, we're well equipped to dealing with it but I'm going to be experiencing this for the first time as well so I don't know how we're going to fare up there I'm, I'm expecting it to be quite tough but yeah we'll try and get the nettle bane on the way if we can hopefully the um, we might be able to deal with the Hargraven I mean we've got Lydia with us as well so she can hopefully tank it which will be good.
there's a um, just a little sort of waterfall down here if um, obviously we're in Nord now I won't do it now because I'll just want to I'll, I'll just keep us going rather than stopping all the time but if you do the Nord's battle cry at the fish jumping up there you'll kill them all and it's a great way of getting salmon row um, salmon row is like a really good ingredient um, you make you can make very 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 um, expensive potions with with salmon row yeah normally if I was doing this on a non uh, survival mode playthrough I'd just fast travel to Helgen and then walk the rest of the way but obviously we can't fast travel now but I quite like that about survival mode um, the best things in Skyrim tend to happen I find when you're just on the road and you're just exploring because the game's so vast um, you'll basically find new things through through doing that that you kind of lose I think you lose that element of surprise if you just fast travel everywhere um, in that 20 tips video I did a few weeks back just before Christmas um, I actually found a quest that I'd, I'd never done before like in 11 years of playing this um, which is like I mean unheard of really that I'm finding new quests at, at this sort of stage and I, and I literally that was just by absolute chance just by being on the road and went going into that Hrolden Inn I think it's called and just talking to someone who I don't think I'd talked to before so I always recommend if you can try and avoid fast traveling sometimes and just experience what kind of happens so normally Helgen now has been overtaken by bandits um, so I'm expecting usually there to be a couple around here that we'll have to deal with normally they'll be in here somewhere doesn't look like they're here this time maybe they only appear at a certain level that's alright means we don't have to don't have to fight them maybe it's because the gates are closed maybe when the gates are maybe it's too early in the game yet maybe a little bit, little bit later because yeah the gates are normally closed and they'll be like burnt corpses on like spikes which is obviously a sign that you probably shouldn't go in who is that up there that um, drained effect oh it's still on for some reason I thought it wasn't on the air is chilly here ah, so this is where we should probably get changed into our fur armour don't want to get cold uh, is it here that the yeah often rock so I'm going to save just in case we die <laughs> yeah, we'll do a new save so yeah there's normally about three or four witches and um, yeah three or four witches and then a hargrave and the witches I'm not that worried about it's the hargrave because I think it's like fireball or explosion that she knows um, and at this early level it will do a lot of damage and we've leveled up that's nice ah here we are alright come on Lydia I'm getting flanked one dealt with I'm just going to let Lydia just oh she's already killed her, brilliant um, it's, the witches are good as well because every, every single one of them will have robes so you can basically just strip all them, strip them all naked um, which isn't weird at all um, and sell all this stuff later yeah 
Yes, the Dragonborn, fabled for killing witches and also stripping corpses naked. Right, we've dealt with them. Oh, is there another one? Oh, yeah. What was that? Was that a trap I just stepped on? Right, the Hargraven will be up here, just across this uh, tree stump up there. So, we'll try and get a few shots in, but what I recommend doing with Hargravens is get up close. They're much more dangerous if you give keep distance between you, because they'll just try and blast you with spells. Get up close, and they just tend to use their claws. So we'll try and get a few shots away if we can, but then we'll just basically rush in. There she is. Yeah. You do not want to get hit by one of them spells. Okay, they can they deal splash damage. Let's do some healing. Alright, hopefully. Lydia will do some tanking for us. Because we are getting a bit of a pounding here already. I did think this would be quite hard at this early level. But let's try and get in up close if we can. Right, here we go. a pounding here. Normally, ah, we died. That was not good. We'll give it one more try, but yeah. Yeah, normally when you get up close with them, they sort of stop using the magic, um, but she obviously wanted to prove me wrong there. <laughs> I do think this would be quite difficult at this early level. Let's kill these witches. That's one dealt with. Oh, wow. That was a weird kill. That should be two more. Uh, I'm not going to step on that trap that I stepped on last time. Where is she? I'll come down here where I can see you. You are chilly. Oh, brilliant. third one done. There is another one somewhere. Right. Let's try this again. Restoration spells are 16% stronger. We might... In fact, we could try and paralyze her. Yeah, let's try that. And we'll also boost our healing. If we can keep Lydia alive long enough to tank for us, then we might be able to rush in and take take her down. Lydia. Right, let's just avoid these fireballs. Right, here we go. Let's go for it. Oh, no. Still going for me. There we go, right. Now she's down. Oh, 
we are not doing a lot of damage here, are we? Right, come on, Lydia. Take it down. We can do this. Yeah, see what I mean about them? when she's not using a magic, she's much easier to deal with. There we go. Phew. Um, yeah. Hard ravens are difficult early on. So we are nettle bane. This is what we came for. This is to help heal the tree. Uh, and she's got a load of crafting materials, which is good because we'll do a bit of crafting later. We haven't actually done any yet. And another witch. Let's just grab all this stuff. I'm a bit disappointed I actually uh, died the first time. This early in onto a uh, let's play to die on episode two, but I guess it's my own fault for being quite um, ambitious in taking a Hargraven down this early. Is that everything here? There's normally a chest just over the other side, which we'll grab as well. Yeah, just here. of minor illusion they're not actually worth that much that's surprising right, we'll just warm up by this fire right now that's done we can carry on to uh, Iverstead can't level up yet because you need to do it when you're sleeping. Yeah, what I'll do actually is I'll just take the quest marker off for this just so it only shows the way of the voice monks otherwise I don't want to get confused and uh, end up going the wrong way. Yeah, this is leading us up into sort of the frozen sort of pass between Falkreath and the Rift. I can't remember what it's called, this pass, but... draining because we are chilly could use my torch but to be honest I want to save that for going up the 10,000 steps Imperial business be on your way some wolves. So hopefully the air will warm up now because we are past. We are through the pass, sorry. Got this one. There's the second one gone. Here it comes. 
Come on, Lydia. Yes, take him down. Give me your wolf pelts. I'm going to go into first person again, actually, because I really do not like what this camera's doing. Is it because of the backpack? I'll just take the backpack off. No. Oh, that's changed. Uh, maybe not. It just seems like it's really close all of a sudden. Yeah, I'm going to go into first person again. So there is here a little alchemist shack, um, which normally has in it quite a few good things to grab. So we'll just take it all. Uh, frost salt, garlic, dried frost miriam, uh, food, glow dust, uh, butterfly in a jar, this is one of the collectibles. Uh, what's in this basket? Leeks, we'll have that. Mushrooms. Uh, potion of light feet. Basically just robbing whoever's all this was. No untamed rabbit. Ah, oh, pets of Skyrim that is. Feed this little carrot. Uh, no thank you, we've got somewhere to be. Uh, yeah, I think this alchemist journal talks about this person that's found that all this and is growing stuff and he, he, he goes off to go find um, basically off somewhere for his work outside the shack and I can't remember does he get killed by a bear or like there's a body in a cave that you think oh that might be his um, but yeah you never actually f see the person who has left all this stuff grab all of this and then out here in the garden is uh, more bits which we'll grab spiky grass hawk feathers it's a crafter's wet dream this uh, is there anything else there's normally some mushrooms yeah here scaly foliota yeah, and that's basically just a random little location where you can just grab loads of crafting materials, which is quite nice. Oh, is that the rabbit? I've never actually done this thing. Is this his carrot? Oh, bless him. We might come back to you at some point, Thistle, but yeah, not right now. We're nearly at Iverstead now. And just... Here is the bear cave that I was just talking about. I think it's just over this hill. Oh, more wolves. This is the annoying thing about um, sort of sort of going through the wild is you just get attacked constantly by animals. But we can remedy that very soon. Yeah, this is that bear cave. Um, this might be an issue. I'm hoping uh, Lydia will help me deal with this bear. Let's just shoot it in the face first just to piss it off. Right, Lydia. Get in there and deal with this bear. it focus on Lydia. There we go. She's so good as Lydia, just does all the tanking for us. Like, you should be the Dragonborn and I should be your follower because you are so much better than I am at this early level. I think what we'll do is 8pm, so we'll probably rest in Ivestead, eat, and then head off in the morning. Uh, 
here we are at the little village of Iristed. The Greybeards have summoned the Dragonborn to hide on Such a thing is not happening. So we'll stay at the is it the Vilmere Inn, yeah. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother if I were you? I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. I'd like to rent a room, please. I'm not interested in the barrow right now. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. And is it this one? Yeah. So we'll sleep, and then we'll eat in the morning, and then we will... Uh, set off to High Hrothgar. Now we can level up. Right, so we'll do health again because we nearly died at the dragon. We did die at the Hargravens and then we probably would have died if that bear had gone for us. So yeah, health, health, health. And we want to put the perk point in. Uh, what have we done so far? I think we've done two in archery. We've done one in sneak and is it one in light armor? So we'll do the second in light armor because we need survivability at this early stage. Let me know if there's anything else you need. And we, you are hungry, so let's eat some of our soup that we've made. Vegetable soup. You are well fed. And hopefully that's got rid of all of the negative effects we were seeing. Are we just cold? Would you care to hear me play my? We won't by this fire. You ever settle Damn down? Bears to are driving me crazy. Twice. There's a um. It's a random little destroyed house over there, which uh, is part of the. I think it's one of the. Dark Brotherhood quests. I think you get sent uh, like as, there's a bounty where you've got to kill the owner. Uh, Narfi is called. It's really quite sad because the story of Narfi is really sad. I think his sister or someone either got killed or disappeared, and it's basically like he's just left, um, and he can't look after himself. His house is obviously in disrepair, and everyone just kind of takes pity on him and just sort of ignores him a little bit and you get sent to kill him and it's just like Can you it? basically I don't know put him out of his misery it's, yeah it's just so sad On your way up the 7, steps of yeah, so now we because we've gone to Iverstead the quest marker will have now changed to go up to High Hrothgar and the 10,000 steps start here but you can okay. um, talk to this guy Klimek and there's a little High task Hrothgar. you can do for him to make a up there so we're going to ask him about that what type of deliveries do you make to High Hrothgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. And in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. I could do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. And that's it. Uh, anything I should watch out for during the climb? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, we're probably going to see a frost roll up there as well. Other than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, so yeah, he gives you a bag of supplies which you have to drop off, and it's just one of those little quests. But you get quite a lot of gold for it. I think. I think he he leaves you like seven hundred and fifty gold or something. So it's worthwhile doing. Um, so yeah, I covered this in my best, uh, not my best, sorry, me twenty tips. Um, if you read all of these etched tablets, you get a hidden. Um, perk that basically stops animals attacking you for 24 hours and it's 24 hour, 24 real hours not in game hours it's called voice of the sky so yeah 
it's worthwhile picking up if you're going up there. That, that's if animal attacks bother you. Obviously, if they don't, then you don't need to, no need to do it. Um, so, Emblem 1. Before the birth of men, the dragons ruled all Mundus. Their word was the voice, and they spoke only for true needs. For the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Health was falling then, but it's not. I think it's just because the air's cold. It's interesting that we're cold already. Like it's gonna get very cold. The higher up we go, you are warmer and feel comfortable. I don't know what is going on with this. I don't know if I'm experiencing an issue here with the weather system, but it seems to be haywire. It's like cold one minute, warm the next, but not doesn't appear to be the right areas. I could expect to have been colder higher up. No, oh, now it's cold again. There's the second one. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. The dragons presided over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. I'll try and get up here quickly because we don't want to spend too much time on this mountain. The ice wolves I'm more worried about. I mean, the normal wolves are not really that much of a problem, but the ice wolves at this early stage are quite nasty. Basically, anything bigger than a wolf, an ice wolf, a bear, a saber tooth, a troll. But yeah, in the early stages of the game, they they are quite nasty. Here's emblem three. There's almost someone sat in front of here. Emblem three. The fledgling spirits of men were strong in old times, unafraid to war with dragons and their voices, but the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Here you get, it might be a little bit further around the mountain, you get a really good view of Bleak Falls Barrow. Like we're basically like on the other side of where that is. And like Riverwood is like in the valley that runs between. You can see my health bar starting to fall a bit there because of the cold. Ah, oh, this is the one where the person sat in front. Like she's literally always sat here. Character, Carita. Kain called on Parthenax, who pitied man. Together they taught men to use the voice, and then dragon war raged, dragon against tongue. Eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to uh, What I'm going to do actually is I'm going to equip the uh, torch for now, and hopefully it'll make a difference. Right, we're normally at the stage where the frost troll is, so I'm hoping I'm not going to fight it because it, we, I just don't think we'll be able to take it down this early on. So if it's here, it's normally up there. It looks like it might not, but oh, there it is. Um, we're, I'm basically going to try and get past it and let Lydia just sort of hold it up for me. 
So we'll try and read this emblem first and then just run like crazy. Five men prevailed, man prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice too was strong, although their sacrifices were manifold. Where is it going? Is it off to High Hrothgar as well? Has it been summoned by the Greybeards? So, Lydia, you are going to do some holding up for me, please. I'm just going to leave you to deal with that troll. Oh yeah, it's here. Um, yeah, down in that valley there, basically that building right in front of us is um, Bleak Falls Barrow. And the frost trolls come in. Here's emblem six, nearly missed that. With roaring tongues, the sky children conquer, founding the first empire with sword and voice, whilst the dragon withdrew from this world. There's a first troll. It's still coming. I think it's coming. Might need to use some stamina potions here. Here's emblem seven, six, seven. The tongues at Red Mountain went away humbled. Jürgen Wincall began his seven year meditation to understand how strong voices could fail. Nearly there. Is it still following us? Yes, it is. Brilliant. Emblem 8. Jürgen Winkall chose silence and returned. The 17 disputants could not shout him down. Jürgen the Calm built his home on the throat of the world. Normally this Trost Troll has given up by now, but he's, uh, he's obviously very hungry. We're nearly there. Here's number nine. For years all silent, the greybeard spoke one name. Tiber set him. Stripling then was summoned to High Hrothgar. They blessed him and named him Dovahkiin. Number ten. Just here. The voice is worship. Follow the inner path. Speak only in true need. And then now we get the voice of the sky, which basically, um, where is it? Yeah, animals will neither attack nor flee from you for 24 hours unless you obviously attack them. So we'll, yeah, we'll leave them be. And then this is the chest which we put the supplies in. Uh, Climex supplies. And then you can return to him for some gold. Right, let's get out of this cold. Hi, Hrothgar. You are warming up, brilliant. So. Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Let us taste of your voice. It's a little bit weird, but we just met you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angil. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? Uh, I just told you that. <laughs> uh, who are you? We what are is this place? Followers of the 
way of the voice. You stand in high Hrothgar, on the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. You mean I'm not the You're only not Dragonborn? The there have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only Dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. I'm answering your summons, Master. We are honoured to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfilment of your destiny. What is my destiny? Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Gro, the second word in unrelenting force. Gro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb or shatl. Such a weird way of learning, isn't it? But look at this word on the floor. Such a weird place this is, isn't it? Must unlock its meaning through constant practice. I literally just... To use what do they do here? Just meditate? Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Teach me... Teach me your power. your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. You basically start to shout at these ghosts. And where's the next one? Ah, here we go. Oh, this guy's now. Was that good? Yeah. You good. Quickly. Once more. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. I like how, I mean, obviously they basically all look the same, don't they? Like, look at their beards. Like, his has got this random little knot in it. Einarth is like, he's got this like, his is like obviously quite longer. And then Wolfgar's just like going for just this big, long, bushy beard. And then I think this dude's is quite short. Yeah, it's like, they literally... Their beards are the only distinct distinguishing factor. Like, <laughs> do you think they actually have to do that deliberately because they're like, have no idea who each other is? Now 
Master Bori will teach you Wool, which means whirlwind. One of my favourite shouts, this whirlwind sprint. It's great when you've done it, got all three words of it. Like you can literally like fly across the map. Give me your life force, Bori. help if I actually equipped it wouldn't it? Not really gonna do much without equipping it. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Right, let's do this. Ooh. There we go. Your quick mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? I thought it was this easy for everyone. No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengrav. Ustengrav. Remain true to the way of the voice. Why are the dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt. The appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Thank you, Master. I will continue my training. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Why are the dragons returning? Does it have... I've just literally just asked you that. Uh, yeah, we could, we'll leave all this for now. We do not need his life story. I don't think he gets out much. We've got to be here a while. It's a proper random place, isn't it? Now the greybeards are done, we can head off on our next adventure. So basically where we are heading now is uh, to Oostengrav to retrieve the horn. Um, but it'll take us past White Run, so we'll sort of do a stop off on the way. Um, I think the, yeah, the Klimek is back in Iverstead. So we, um, we're we not going to go all the way back there just to dr pick up the gold, but we'll do that probably the next time we're in that um, vicinity, basically. So the quickest way down is... Oh, there's Bleak Falls Barrow over there. That must mean that Riverwood is down in this sort of area down there. And then, yeah, there's White Run. I love this view from up here, though. Like, literally, you can basically see most of like the northern part of Skyrim like that's the big lake sort of around Falkreath and then you've got like Castle Volker here which is bloody far over there I think that's Solitude and then you've Dawnstar is somewhere around here probably I think that's the lighthouse that you can see there and then over there probably bit past these mountains over in that direction will be Winterhold. So yeah, you can literally see like the entire northern section. Like you can see Morthal in the distance, that like sort of swampy area. Um it's pretty much just 
um, the Reach and Falkreath that you can't really see and obviously Riften which is hidden on the other side of the mountain but yeah nice views from up here um, so we are going to scale the mountain to try and get down which um, is pretty dangerous but might make for good TV so let's do it um, and there is a um, Stormcloak camp that you normally land on coming this way so we'll I'll kind of head in that direction uh, yeah you can see it in the, it's just come up on the map now that sort of like bear claw there's two ways you can go here like the quickest way would be good to go down there but I think that is literally like a sheer drop uh, Lydia what are you doing that was weird uh, yeah this bay is a little bit shallower So doing all right here. We're um, uh, we've not died. It's all good. Yeah, this is the camp that you end up at. I only know this because I've I've done this before. Yeah, quickest way down the mountain is just run down it. Skyrim physics for you. Uh, is there anything we can cook while we're here? I think we should be able to make some more soup because we picked up some more veg, didn't we? Uh, grilled leeks, no. Uh, hot vegetable soup. Oh, that's using you. That's combining it with fire salts as well, isn't it? And um, we'll just make the standard version vegetable soup. There we go. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. So we just need this guy's horse and <laughs> get a bounty already. Right, so now we're down the mountain, we can head over to Lydia. Like, you just literally keep appearing. Uh, we can head to Whiterun. Ah, so if we'd have. Um, would have basically when I was in White when I was talking about two ways we could go and we went this way past Orphan Rock. If we'd have gone this way and down, this is the path we'd have come along. And it takes you past the ritual stone which is here, which is um, forms part of my um Night King build if you've watched it. Really fun way of playing Skyrim that. And then Valheim Towers is just over there in the distance. You can kind of see these two towers that are connected. Um, there's like always bandits there, so um, yeah, you pretty much can't get past them without them sort of bothering you. They always sort of try and sell you that it's a toll road and you have to pay to pass. Uh, I can hear wolves, but yeah, basically, normally now they would attack, but because of this. Um, yeah, you basically just leave you alone, so it's quite good. Uh, what is going on here? Is that the bard? Some somebody the wanderer killing bandits. Hello there, Talska the Wanderer. One itinerant minstrel and wandering wastrel. Hello there, friend. Can you teach me speechcraft? Can I make a request? Uh, looks like you've been busy, mate. Your sword is like covered in blood. What's been going on? You're killing some bandits. You mind if I just rob them for you? You've done all the hard work, but I will take the gold. Thank you. I'll just demonstrate here. Actually, I spoke about it earlier, and I wasn't going to do it, but. Um, if we, which powers is it? Battle cry. If we get battle cry, 
you can basically catch salmon and uh, salmon row. Don't think we aimed very well then. We only got one or two. Well, there's one over here. It's just a good way of getting salmon row, basically. We're we killing another salmon. That's weird. Salmon row, yeah. I can't remember what the potion it is you make um, with it, but yeah, it's it's really powerful. Uh, great source of income. Stamina bar is quite drained. I think it will be. Yeah, it'll be that. We do seem to suffer the f effects of fatigue quite e quite quickly. The main route. Grab that. Yeah, what I quite like about um, survival mode is you really have to almost you pay attention you pay attention to things like the time of day and um, how long it takes to get to places. Um, you have to just manage so much more. Like right now, normally on a normal playthrough, what I'd probably be thinking is I'd have probably fast travelled here and I'd be thinking, well, I'll just walk all the way to Ustengrav. But right now what I'm thinking is, well, it's already half three. My player's tired and hungry. And once I've been to White Run and done things I need, it's probably going to be like five. I'm not going to get there before nightfall. So it might be better just to stay here and then travel in the morning um, and eat and things like, do all the things like that. And obviously you don't, you just don't think about that sort of thing normally. So it's quite refreshing for me. Someone who's played this don't know how many hours I've put into this game. I reckon it's probably I wouldn't be surprised if I put 2,000 hours into this. Maybe more. I know that my PS4 save had 1,200 hours on it. My PS3 one had probably 400 and then I've probably done another 400 on this. Oh great, it's these guys. This is a pain. Thankfully, we left these guys, the Alica warriors, to kill them. Uh, these are the Dragonborn cultists. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Yes, I am Dragonborn. Your lies fall on deaf ears, deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. You don't normally get attacked by these this early on. Right, there we go. Where's the next one? Ah, here. Where are the Alka warriors? They like run off. Yeah, these are to do with the Dragonborn DLC if you've not seen them before. Uh, we'll take a set of this just because it's like a unique Wait, armor. I know you. Uh, and one of them normally has a note. Yeah, here we go. Cultist orders. Sell the second set. Travel to Solstheim. So this is basically the start of the Dragonborn questline where you go to the the new map, the new island. Um, Mirak is the the other Dragonborn, basically, uh, and he's very powerful. 
um, what I'll do though is I'll um, when we've done the main quest line I mentioned it in the last episode I'll let you all vote on what um, you want to do next um, and I'll, I'll throw the Dragonborn quest line in there I'll do like Dragonborn um, Thieves Guild the College of Winterhold what else is there uh, Companions sorry and the Dawn Guard there's one other one isn't there uh, Dark Brotherhood. I'll let you decide which one, which one we do next. Uh, I'm coming here to sell this dude things. Come to it seems this damnable conflict is take a look. Yeah, what have we got that you might be interested in? Wooden staff of ancestors. I forgot I've still got hold of that. Uh, you can have all my robes and things that I don't need. Uh, any books? Thief you can have. Petty sold gem that's not filled. Uh, I'll keep that one just in case. What I'm going to do is I'll uh, I'll disenchant this stuff, but I'll, I should have saved first. Actually, I'll go do that now. I'll go sleep and uh, then disenchant the stuff after. Old friend, patron of the great clan. Uh, we'll go to Arcadia's Cauldron actually first and drop off those frost salts. I think they were. She gives you she, she gives you some potions for doing it. If not, let me know. You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. I have some frost salts for you from Farangar. Ah, splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir like none other. Maybe I'll test it on Farangar first. <laughs> Maybe I'll test it on firing off first. Some compensation. Um, here, these potions should suffice. What does she give you? Illusion, enhanced stamina, and brief invisibility. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just create some potions, but I'm just going to do it like any person would kind of at the start of the game um, so basically combining them you'll learn ingredients um, and sometimes obviously you'll, you might create you might not create anything because the, the ingredients are not compatible every item has got four ingredients that it that it um, sort of four effects sorry that it um, can do and if you find two ingredients that have the same effects you'll create a potion of that effect if they don't have a, a any commonality between them you won't create anything so and just by combining them it's, it's the best way to go about it really so like if I just combine bone meal with I don't know a death bell they both have ravaged stamina so that's a potion I've created a poison there if I combine blue mountain flower with I don't know let's try glowing mushroom they've both got fortify health so that's that's actually quite a good one that so I'm going to create another one of them. Uh, let's try, what have we got? Nightshade is, that's normally not got a lot of bad things. Spider egg. Damage magicka regen. And this is basically just a way of learning different potions really. So I'm just going to combine a load of stuff. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine three at a time to try and learn different things. See, I've learned two effects there. Let's try Nurn Root, His Scarf and Hargrave and Feathers. Nothing that way. Glowing Mushroom, Death Bell, Bone Meal. Glowing Mushroom, Blister Wart, B. What if I smithing? <laughs> there you go. I've learnt something new there. 
we'll grab it we'll grab a few of them uh, B and Cyrodelic Spade Tail let's just get through all these and see what we end up with because I've carrying quite a lot of uh, stuff here it probably weighs quite a lot generate stamina Grass pod, glow dust, and death bell. What else have we got? Wisp wrappings. That is fortified destruction, isn't it? I remember that from my last video. Yeah, is there anything I've got that's fortified destruction? I sell cures for all these. I think they're glow dust. Yep. Uh, what else have we got? More attack in our wisp branch. Yeah. Trying to learn stuff here. Fortified light armor, that's actually quite useful. Just fire. Generate stamina. I've got, I've got so much stuff here. Do you realize I'd uh, grab that many actually? Damage stamina. Nearly done. Uh, Storm Magicka. There we go, right, so we've created a load of potions there. Let's see what we've got. I'll sell anything I don't need to, Arcadia. Look rather pale. Could be uh, what have you got for so sale? You're interested in my potions and ingredients? Uh, so Great, decrease the target's magic regeneration by 100%. I'm probably not gonna, that's actually quite a good potion, but I'm probably not gonna use it because I don't think it's that useful in battle, really. Unless you're fighting mages, but we'll just hack them to death. Raise the target's stamina by 10. I don't really use stamina potions that much. Cause three points of poison damage for 10 seconds. Poison, ravage stamina, we'll sell all that. It's mainly the ones that help me that I'm interested in. Uh, we're not going to use this sort of health I'll keep, fortify light armor I'll keep, fortify smithing I'll definitely keep. Yeah, that's useful. Resist fire, yeah, R restore health, yeah, restore magic, uh, restore stamina. So now I've learned these potions, it's useful because I'll, I'll, I can, you can basically, ref oh, you can basically refer to them in here. Um, not like when you've got ingredients, it'll tell you below what you can, um, what you can make with what you've got because you've learned them. I'll just show you actually while we're here. Uh, are, you are you always it? drunk? Only if I can help it. But damn if I ain't almost sober. Hey, in the banner, it's the Argonian ale that he's after. Argonian ale. But because we've sold the firewood, we can just steal it for free. Come on. Uh, not steal it. You can take it for free, sorry. Like, normally you have to steal it. I'll bring you that ale, old man. Argonian ale. I can almost taste it. Sure, whatever. Shiny trinket. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Right, so it's in here, I think. Yeah, this if one here. Working, Argonian ale. Holder's the one to talk to. Where's he gone? Here he is. Hmm? Here's that special ale you wanted. He normally gives you a well, potion, I think. Look at that! Argonian ale. My thanks, friend. Here. Take this here healing potion. I uh, found it in the temple. <laughs> um, and then what we're going to do as well is we're going to give him a gold piece. Let's get some meat. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Yeah, because then you get the gift of charity, which increases your speech craft, so you can sell things at high prices. So I'm going to quickly do that. Then I'm going to sleep, and then we'll. Um, 
We'll disenchant our stuff and then we'll go off to Ustungrav. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. Uh, that is a little bit weird. What have you got for sale? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Alright, what have we got that we can just get rid of? Uh, fire arrows, hunting bow, iron arrows, steel dagger. I'm not really using that. I'm probably not going to use it, so let's just sell it. Apparel. Uh, we can sell this. Might just keep a set just for the heck of it. Uh, most of this, I think we're just going to try and disenchant. Uh, I've sold the portion I didn't need. Food we need. Books we need. And yeah, there's not really a lot we've got that we don't need, so that wasn't very fruitful, really. Don't mean to be rude, but I'm too busy to talk right now. Right, is that everything done here? Uh, yeah, we'll, we also need to return the knife, don't we? The nettle bane. We'll do that on the way up. So we'll sleep in the bed that we can now sleep in for free. again um, so we're going to do I'll do I'll do another one in health I mean, health is really important at this early stage and I'm gonna boost one-handed attacks as well because I've not done it yet probably quite hungry now you are famished looking at I probably should have eaten before I went to bed, really. I wonder what Famished says. Let's have a look. Active effect. Famished. Total stamina used by... Uh, you are 70% less effective with using shields and sneaking. Attacks with weapons are 30% slower. Uh, yeah, we need to get rid of that, don't we? Let's see. Uh, I'm going to keep all of my soup. I'm going to see if she's got any salt to sell. And then make some more of the... Uh, grill some of the fish that I've got. But yeah, she's got two salt piles, so we'll buy that. Need anything else? Just let me know. And then we will make some more fish. I think it was salmon we had, wasn't it? Yes, mum. Grilled leeks. No. Salmon steak, here we go. Why is there two of them? That's weird. Is there anything else I can make? Grill, just grilled lake, so we'll leave it leave it there. Right. Let's have something to eat. What have we got? Sweet rolls, which we're holding on to. Salmon steak. We'll eat them and an apple. And what are we looking like now? Satisfied. Yeah, it's chilly here. I've got a hungry daughter to Right, so let's just Put on. No, we don't want that quest. We want the blessings of nature. I think that's everything, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, you bring the the dagger back to her, and then she's like, "Oh, actually, what you need to do so, have you is you need to go to this back? other place, oh, which is basically Skyrim in a nutshell, just back. doing things for random people." I don't really want to touch that thing though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? Do you think you could handle the next steps? Yeah, I, I don't really want to do any of this. Can you just do it all for me? 
What needs to be done? Elder Gleam Sanctuary Road is to the east of here. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of its sap. I like how she's just like, it's to the east of here, and you're like, oh yeah, like, you mean like just outside Whiterun? And then she's like, uh, no, when I say east of here, I mean literally near Windhelm. And you're like, oh, right, okay, great, cheers. Thanks for that. But it's worthwhile doing because it makes the tree in Whiterun look pretty and not like this. Wait, I know you. Right, so now we'll disenchant the stuff. Uh, the only reason I didn't do it earlier, by the way, is because this basically you get we'll just get 10 percent more from it by resting may the gods watch over your battles friend divine smile on you friend right so Disenchant, so we can learn the cold, some uh, an enchantment from disenchanting that. Frost damage enchantment, that's it, sorry. Uh, magic it regenerates faster, we'll learn that. Uh, hide brace of minor archer, which is actually quite useful. It would be useful to keep them and use that, but I'm going to disenchant it because we want to learn it for now. I think. Or should we keep all of them? We might keep all of them actually. We'll definitely get rid of them. Those do more damage. We'll get actually, yeah, we'll keep that. We'll get rid of this one because this is heavy armor, we're not going to use it. Uh, illusion we'll get rid of. Hood we'll get rid of. And then the destruction spell one we'll get rid of. Can we enchant anything? I bet it's going to be so weak. Let's see what we can put on the bow. Uh, not a lot. What about our braces? Let's see what putting the fortify archery does on it. Bows do 1% more damage. Honestly, it's so, so weak at early levels. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be enchanting anything just yet. Uh, have we got anything we can sell him? We tried this earlier, didn't we? We'll, in fact, what we'll do is, has he got any spells that are worthwhile having? I'm thinking more fast healing is good. And uh, what is it? Oak flesh is actually a really good one to have. In fact, he's got stone flesh, which is even better. We'll have that. And... Is there anything else? Conjure Flame Atrona is quite useful. So we'll take that and then what we'll do is we'll sell in this staff that we're just carrying around. And then we've got quite a good amount of gold still now. And we can also yeah, learn some useful spells. You should join the Fast healing stone flesh. And then we'll just update our favourites. So I want stone flesh. Conjure Flame Atronic and Fast Healing along with our Hunting Bow and our War Axe. And what we probably need to do now is stick some more points into Magicka. I think everything's done here for now so we can set off to Oostengrav now we are ready. We're well fed, we're not tired, we've sold all our stuff. I think our carry weight's down at, yeah, 136. They can barely tolerate our presence on Earth. A few septums for my supper is all I ask. Wait, I know you. <laughs> this guy's like, what is this naked dark elf doing? I'm just going to stroke her hair, sing her a lullaby while she's just, what is this position like? 
What have you been doing to her during the night? Like, this is just... Like, honestly, Ulfbeth. Does your wife know you've done this? Shocking behaviour. Right, we are now going to head off to Usengrav, which we could actually just... Should we get the coach to Morthal rather than walk? That might be a good idea, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Need a ride? I can take you to any of the hold capital. Where do you want to go? I'd like to hire your carriage to Mortal, please. Why is Mortal more expensive? It's like literally probably the closest one. Climb and back and we'll be off. Couldn't ask for better weather. Yeah, normally if you're walking, it takes you through there's like a pass you can go past that goes past Labyrinthian. But to be honest with you, it's um it's quite dangerous labyrinthian like it's full of frost trolls and i didn't really fancy it so <laughs> we'll uh, do the easy one easy method um i thought we're probably hungry now aren't we I imagine yeah peckish let's eat um no not nord me that isn't gonna fill us up vegetable soup you are well fed. What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? Thought oh, that was Babette for a second then. The um that brotherhood vampire girl. I was gonna be like, what is she doing here? I like the idea of Morthal, like it's it's just proper creepy isn't it, but yeah it does give me the creeps, it's not not one that I like to spend a lot of time in to be honest, like at night time this swamp is just so weird and freaky. It's like the, um, is that a spider? Yeah, oh thankfully it's going to leave us alone. Um, it's. It, I don't know why, but it reminds me a little bit of the... Has anyone played uh, Red Dead Redemption 2? Um, I love the Red, Dem uh, Red Dead Redemption series, but the um, the swamp, the bayou, uh, in the second one at night time is just, like, gives me the creeps. And there's, like, I love how, like, at night time you can see, like, ghosts and stuff there. But yeah, I don't spend a lot of time there, and I try and not spend a lot of time in Morphal, to be honest, as well, especially at night. Um, right, so here we are at Oostungrav. Oh, brilliant. Oh, don't need to heal spell. Let's just throw down a, a flame atronic. Oh, we don't have enough mana for that spell. Brilliant. Uh, that was worthwhile buying. Where is Lydia? I am being surrounded here. Thankfully they're all novice and not that powerful. Who shot me then? Lydia, did you just shoot me? Right, let's strip these bandits of their gold. Fur armor. That's basically what I'm wearing. Novice necromancer, troll fat, and we'll take your robes. 
I can't, I can't believe I've just bought a spell that I can't even use yet. I should have known. What is it? 132 to use it. 63 to use. Alteration 100, 171. I've made a big boo boo here. I should have bought oak flesh. We're not powerful enough to use stone flesh yet. Um, oh well. Let's just unfavorite these for now and I'll pick up the uh, weaker versions next time I get a chance. Uh, getting a little bit ahead of myself there. Right, I think we will stop episode 2 here and then in episode 3 we'll do the horn, we'll go back to the greybeards and then we'll do the, the next step in the um, quest line which I think is when you go with Delphine to the dragon um, dragon attack uh, dragon sighting sorry so yeah um, yeah uh, thanks for watching episode 2 um, I hope you enjoy it I loved reading all your comments from episode 1 by the way um, it seemed like there was a lot of people quite positive about it which is obviously great to see um, definitely energised me to do episode 2 so yeah, I'll try and um, not leave it too long between doing episode 2 and episode 3 this time. So, But yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I'm Mike the Gaming Dad and I'll see you next time.